Andrea Cacciano. Born Andrew Cacciano. She identified as a woman from the time she was six years old. She's brilliant. MBA from Harvard. And she's about to be fired by a major equities firm because she's transgender. This is a precedent-setting case of national importance. I can win this, but I need your help to cure me first. We are well aware of your work as a civil rights attorney. I have to admit, I'm a fan. Thank you. Okay, let's talk quickly because I'm a ticking time bomb. I wasn't diagnosed until six months ago. The theory is I've had these petite mal seizures my whole life. As a child, they would come and go, but they never affected me. Now I have an average of 10 per hour. I can't go to trials like this. I can barely even get through a deposition at this point. I need someone to take the bull by the horns or I am out of business. And so are all the people who are depending on me to feel heard and represented. Proven that this public elementary school knowingly put its own students' health at risk by using a food vendor that provided absolutely zero food choices that met with FDA nutritional standards. And the court ruling today comes a long way to once and for all stop these profit seeking food vendors from harming our nation's children. My lady is good. Giselle Overman has become a voice in this country for people without a voice. Her petite mal seizures have increased in intensity and frequency to the point where she no longer can function in her daily life. What can we do? I call it the neural pacemaker. I borrowed technology from the cardiac pacemaker. The neural pacemaker monitors electrical activity in the brain. When the cluster of neurons responsible for a seizure start to show increased activity, it basically snuffs out the seizure before it occurs. Be still my heart. When can we install that puppy? There's a hitch. I've done a functional MRI, a diffusion MRI, and an EEG. And I haven't been able to isolate the area of her brain where the seizure cascade begins. So we have a fix, but without a seizure focus, we can't use it. How do we find the focus? Without a new way to look at the brain, I have no idea. So find a new way to look at the brain. Obviously. <laughs> Obvious. That's my brain. We combine three scans to create this image and we're able to locate the source of your seizure. Dorothy, we're not in county anymore. Unfortunately, your seizure source is in your thalamus, deep in the brain, close to the brain stem, near uh, vital arteries. Meaning? Meaning if we're even thinking about going in there, we need zero margin for error. So we set up a real-time intraoperative imaging. Now, Dr. Chanariya Patra can track electric impulses in the brain in real time during surgery. Like a deadly game of operation. This surgery isn't going to be easy, but we think we can get to it if we follow a carefully planned route. We do need you to understand there is a real possibility you may not wake up from this surgery. I understand. It is frightening. I'm, I'm not upset because I'm scared. I'm moved. I'm willing to take the risk. I don't have kids. I, I don't have a husband. I have my clients. And what good am I if I can't help them? Thank you. Then with your permission, we'd like to schedule this for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Merry Christmas, huh? Let's do it. Let's do it. I hope to hell this works. Oh, you'll do great. This will work. Dr. Wallace, this is the first time this kind of surgery's ever been attempted. I would be honored if you would scrub in with me. My wife just flew all the way out here to see me. Tomorrow's my only day off. So. Of course. You guys have fun. Yeah. Bring this one home, doctor. We could all use a win right now. Couldn't miss this. Neither could I. Those are the thalamocortical radiations. Determinants of consciousness. If we know 
they're there. I know how to avoid them. Tremors aren't from GSS. That kombucha you're drinking? It's heavily caffeinated. Your tremors are probably a combination of sugar, caffeine, and too little sleep. You need to take care of yourself, okay? How's Giselle Overman? Eight hours, no seizures. Already turned a recovery room into a temporary office. We did it, James. See? It is a wonderful life. 